Hello everyone and welcome again to another video. Where do I honestly start with today's video? Insane news have just come up. I literally just woke up this morning and this is basically how I felt. Holy Jesus. What is that? Yeah, so, so you get what I mean. I honestly was gobsmacked when I saw that Mechi Kabura. Whoa, whoa, we were. That was something else. Wasn't expecting that. There's a lot of speculation, to be honest. I'm not sure if it is going to be the God Rare, but some saying it is. But I still do have some hope that it could be the Sun Gohan. Now, of course, we know the iconic transformation of the Super Saiyan 2. Well, that's kind of my theory anyway, that it essentially will be his transformation. Some are saying it could be the Father, Son, Kamehameha, but to be honest, we already had so many arts of that that I honestly do not know. But hey... Let's get into the video guys and let's look at those cards. Okay, so we're going to start off from where we kind of left off. So we got the Son Goku Overwhelming Power. Now, of course, this was the one with that beautiful looking gold foil that comes out of that Kamehameha. So I really like that. That's pretty cool. Average card though, Sun Goku Daily Training. So these are the newer cards that we haven't seen yet. So these are good to preview. Very nice. We've got Chi Chi Protecting Mother. That's a nice DBZ art there. So essentially, yeah, it's a typical, you know, look up to five cards and then you have to find which card you want. So either Goku Piccolo. So yeah, essentially that's kind of like the, the, I guess the newer way of trying to bring out cards, you know, instead of having to just gamble and hoping that you can pull a card out that you that you're essentially needing um, <laughs> in the game. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Then you got the power pole there. Yeah, that's the effect of the power pole that you need. When this card is played, add up to one power pole from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Yep, very cool. I personally don't think I'm going to build Goku Red. I'll see. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be building the Green Gohan, which we'll go over very, very soon. So here's Son Goku and Piccolo Arch Rivals fighting together. This is a very nice super rare. Imagine what the special rare would be like. I'm sure it would be fire. Um, that's a double strike, 25k. Very nice. Piccolo opposing strength. So this is a super combo. Typical, yeah, draw one card. Yeah, that's pretty average. Krillin, 20k, just standard there. Ox King, Grandfather of Sun Gohan. Nice, like the DBZ. And then, of course, oh my goodness me, the first SCR that was unveiled and is the Shenron, the Eternal Dragon. So essentially with this, there's been a lot of, I guess, backlash at the card itself because essentially if you guys can read the activate main if your leader is red you choose one play up to one of your mono blue red battle cards from your drop choose up to one of your mono red battle cards and that gets 10 so essentially i think the whole point is that a card that is placed in your drop you can pretty much bring back so if you had something that was super strong and it essentially doesn't leave the game you can bring it back and pretty much replay it <laughs> so it's a pretty decent card and of course you get the triple strike if you choose to do that in 10,000 power uh, or you can give your cards oh, or you can get rid of cards ignoring barrier and uh, battle cards Ooh, okay you get a 15 oh, and they get 15k Ooh, okay decrease okay so yeah there's a bit of uh, backlash about it but it's still a great SCR I'm sure people are gonna be going after this one for sure then oh that's what it looks like in real life that's actually a beautiful very beautiful love it that's going to be very nicely textured that's definitely a, a pull that you want to get for sure oh here we go so we got some of the sprs now we got the super saiyan blue sun goku and super saiyan blue vegeta rivalry rival rival rivalry rivalry yeah that's a bit of a tongue twister there so this is another spr very nice 15k love it love it love it Sun Goku, so Super Saiyan Blue Sun Goku versus Golden Freeza Spirit Clash. So yeah, this is from uh, Resurrection F. That's another nice yellow card there. So this is a, a very delicious card. So this is Golden Freeza Evolved Emperor. This is another SPR. So they're kind of showing off the SPRs for the yellow deck. Ooh, okay. So SPRs for the red deck now. So we got Garlic Junior Invitation to Eternal Darkness. Ooh. So if this card has indestructible, your opponent's battle cards and using to get. Ooh, okay. Very nice. We got the Sun Goku, ooh, and Piccolo arch rivals fighting together. That is a sick looking SPR. And definitely something that I, I assume people would want to collect as well. It's pretty decent as well. 
for the red deck ish. Yeah, for the Goku, I guess. Garlic Juju, Eternal Life. Here we go. Some more SPRs there. Sun Goku, Overwhelming Power. That is going to be super gold foily. That's very nice. Definitely something that you'd want to also add to your collection, possibly. Oh, here we go. So I'm I'm a blue player, so I love blue cards. Unfortunately, the leaders aren't really the best, but baby. Here we go. So this is baby from GT. It's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be building anything around blue. Uh, unfortunately, just because I already kind of have the decks that I need, essentially. Um, baby finishing revenge. That's a nice Z Awaken there. Love the artwork, though. Baby para Parasitic Complete. We got Baby Parasitic Premonition. That's nice as well. Universal Tough Tuffalization Plan. Okay. I didn't realize that was a concept. You can tuffalize. <laughs> tuffalization. Okay. I mean, interesting term. Um, if your leader is blue, an order power, if it's when, when you play a blue... Baby with an energy cost of four or more. Play up to one battle card with an energy cost of three or less. And an individual power. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So it's pretty much a field card. Okay. Dr. Mew. Typical Dr. Mew, right? Uh, essentially. Um, who else do we have? we got Sun Goten. Domination complete. Trunks. Domination complete as well. Vegeta. Tempered body. Baby. A quiet beginning. Okay. Baby. Anti-Saiyan. Murder weapon. Ooh, here we go. SR. Baby. Biter Revenge on S Bitter. B oh, my bad. Bitter Revenge on Saiyans. Um, yeah, that's a decent card. Baby Shining. Wow. Baby Shining Gold Evil Life Form. That's going to be a nice card to have in the SPR for sure. Wonder what that's going to look like. Bulla Domination Complete. Vegeta Disturbing Har Harbinger. Harbinger. Where did he come up with these names? Disturbing Harbinger. What does that even mean? <laughs> Bulma domination complete. <laughs> Oob, here we go. So we got some Majub now. So if you guys don't know who Majub is, it's essentially just um, Majin Buu himself fused with Oob. This is towards GT. Uh, this is, yeah, Oob fusion of two spirits. That's a great card. There we go. So there's Oob and Mr. Buu resonating spirits. That is the leader back. Mr. Buu, Majin defender. Uh, Oob, yeah, so that's Oob front. So yeah, this is essentially Majub, uh, if you really want to call him that. Yeah, but he's still considered Oob, though. Uh, I think majority of people still call him Oob, but yeah, he's just fused. Because you can see the vest there. That's just essentially Majin Boos. Um, if your leader is Oob and it's your turn, when your opponent's card is added to their Z energy, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards from their battle. Ooh, and add it to its owner's Z energy. Okay, interesting. Very nice. When this card is played, oh, okay, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So we got Mr. Boo for friendship, full strength absorption. So we got some Boo going on. Pan, Brave Defense. Ooh, okay, we got good. So we got a blocker there. Pretty average. When this card is played from your hand, draw one card. Oh, okay, yeah, that's just Mr. Boo in disguise. Hercule, Friends Defense. Nice. Oob, Warrior, Left on Earth. Hercule, Earth's Champion. Yeah, very typical. Here we go. Here's the SR. Oob, Body Resistance. If it's your turn and... This card is under a leader. The leader on top of this card gets minus 5,000 power. And this card can't be removed from the leader area by a skill or any other card skill. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So it doesn't leave unless there's something you could kind of get rid of it. I don't know. Um, ooh, that's pretty decent. Oob standing up to a threat. So this is a super combo. Typical. Yeah, so draw one card if your yeah, life is less than four. Yeah, typical. Pan. We've got Oob intercepting Kamehameha. Wow. That's nice. Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku Warrior Savior. Yep. Ooh, this is a blocker. It's unique. Okay. If your leader is a blue oob, when one of your blue oob cards with an energy cost of six or more is removed from your battle area by skill, play this card from your hand. Oh, okay. Sweet. So it kind of just substitutes the card in for another card. Uh, nice. Nice. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. That's cool. Oob focused. Full strength blow. That's a nice SR as well. Double strike. 30k. That's pretty decent. Pretty juicy. Ah, here we go. So this is kind of coming to a bit of more of a controversy uh, because the green deck apparently had such a big buff up. It's crazy. So Cell essentially is going to be a deck that people will definitely will be wanting to build. Um, it's definitely a hype deck uh, specifically because of Ginger Town. So this thing right here. 
If your opponent's leader is a green cell, this card is in your battle area. Your Earthling tokens can't attack, and you can't use your Earthling tokens or green Android saving team or 18 cards with an edge cost of 2 in a combo. If it's your opponent's turn, this card is in your battle area. When your opponent plays a mono green from their hand, play two Earthling tokens, and your opponent can't activate extra cards with count skills for the duration of the game. So you can literally, you can't stop an attack um, for the duration of the game. <laughs> that is overly powerful in my opinion because for example me i play blue and essentially i thrive on using these counter skills to try and stop my opponents from obviously trying to kill my leader and this pretty much just stops it completely and so i'm pretty much defenseless in a sense and of course other people who decide to use other decks that have specific cards that have counter skills so it's annoying it's really annoying so i don't know how it's gonna work yeah so, more cell cards here. We got Android 17, Enroaching Hand of Evil. <laughs> and then we got the 18 version. Cell Greedy Absorption, Cell Saiyan Absorption, Cell Namikian Absorption, <laughs> Cell Chrysalis Form, okay. Cell Birth Omen, jeez. Lots of cards around Cell, of course, typical. Spy Robot Collecting Cells, ooh, damn, Power of One, but this card... Choose one of your green cell cards with an energy cost of three or less, and that card gains the keyword skill. See, that's what I mean. That card gains the keyword skill. So it takes a keyword skill from your opponent, I think, right? If your leader's green and you choose one skill on one battle card within it, is it from the opponent? Yeah, in your opponent's battle area. So if, let's say, a battle card had, let's say, it was less than four energy and it had barrier, your cell can take barrier. It's just crazy, you know? It, just, it means that essentially barrier is where... Um, uh, you can't pick a card and just destroy it if your skills allow it to from a specific battle card, for instance. So yeah, it's definitely a, this is a great card to have for sure. Um, just to take a, a keyword skill, that's that's insane. So here we go. We got some more cards here. Self preparing a plan. Cells full power Kamehameha. This is an activate battle. So see, look at this. He gets a buff up. Choose up to one of your green cell cards, and it gets 15k power for the battle. Look at that buff up, 15k, and it costs one only. Or you can choose to KO up to one card. So that see that KO part? So essentially, if your card has barrier, you can't KO that card, in a sense. Just FYI, yeah. So sell Pursuit of Despair. This is super rares now. See what I mean? Like, these cards are just crazy. 30k double strike. I mean, that's like the other cards too, but it's just insane. Like, oh, man. Cell is pretty, it's pretty hyped. It's pretty hyped. I'm not going to lie. Super Saiyan 2, Sun Gohan, Trigger to Fierce Rage. Here we go. So this is the other big one that a lot of people are going to be building, essentially. We've got the Sun Gohan. Um, Hyperbolic Time Chamber is a big one uh, for this deck. Essentially, uh, this deck thrives on that. Um, so here it is, as you can see. If there is a Sun Gohan child under this card and your leader air gets 5,000, only up to two cards will be placed under this card. If all your energy is green and this card is in active mode, you may play one card from on this card. If you do, add up to two cards to your life. See what I mean? You get to add to your life. So let's say you're at like six life, you can go back to eight or whatever, etc., etc. But I mean, it does cost quite a bit. You got to get to seven. And I mean, um, it does take some time. So you got to really play it right. But when you do, oh man, it's juicy. It's juicy. Super Saiyan 4, or Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan Sun Goku showing the results of training. Uneasing Awakening, Awakened Rage. Okay, that's nice. That's a counterattack. So that's a negate. So that stops an attack for one. Or is it for free? You may activate this counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by discarding one green card from your hand. See? So essentially with green now, you don't have to pay any energy. You just have to discard one green card from your hand. And you get to stop an attack. Let's say there was a triple strike attack that was coming straight at you. So it's triple, triple strike essentially, right? So you, it essentially takes away three of your life. Use this. You just discard one card, or one green card specifically, and that's it. You pretty much stop the big attack. You don't have to pay any energy. To me, that just seems too strong, um, essentially speaking. I wish Blue had something like that. We don't have anything like that. <laughs> well, I mean, that I can think of, specifically speaking. Super Saiyan Son Goku assisting his son. Oh, he does assist his son indeed. Um, Goku. Uh, Piccolo, Hercule Cheater. <laughs> Krillin battle support. Super Saiyan Sun Goku decision made. Ooh, what's this? For every Z energy cost of the Z cards in your leader area and battle area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. Okay, very nice. 
Add this card to your Z energy. When this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Energy costs of seven or less and add it to its owner's Z energy. Then choose up to one of your opponent's unisons and remove two markers. Ooh, that's pretty good if you're wanting to get rid of a unison. Oy, 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 oy. Man, green's just super overpowered. I, uh, I haven't read through this, so this is my first time reading through this. And yeah, it's definitely a deck that people are going to be building. I hope this gets banned <laughs> or something like that because... <laughs> this is such a good deck. Double Strike. Oh, here we go. Super Saiyan Son Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Son Gohan. Father, Son, Solidarity. Sol solidarity. <laughs> My English is horrible. Solidarity, yeah. This is another great card. 35k Double Strike. See, look at this. Limit one. So you can only do this one time per turn. So you tap for two energy. If your leader is green and your opponent has three or more energy, play this card from your hand and this card gains barrier for the turn. Wow. Jeez, you're only paying two for such a big card as well. Look at that, guys. Easy as that, eh? Oh, Super Saiyan Son Goku believing in his son. Another card there. Super Saiyan Trunks, mysterious future warrior. Oh, I love Trunks. Trunks is my boy. Definitely a nice art there to have. Uh, Supreme Kai of Time, releasing time power. So this is, uh, I guess, support cards that I'm really excited about to some degree. Um, as you guys all know, I, I'm sure you guys know, I pretty much have my Crimson Trunks deck. It is a black deck. And you can see there it says Trunks Xeno. So essentially, this is the support cards for it. So I'm definitely going to be adding these to my deck. I will be adding that to my deck as well. Possibly this. I'm not sure. This I'm definitely going to be adding to my deck. Triple Strike Barrier. Oh my goodness me. When this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and send it to its owner's warp. Whoa, whoa, wee -wa. That's a beautiful card. Beautiful card. I'm so keen for this, to be honest. So keen for this. Okay, what else do we have? We've got Super Saiyan God Trunks Guide. I guess this is pretty much a card that I really wanted to get, and we are definitely going to be getting this. So Super Saiyan God Trunks Guiding Light. So this is the Awakened. So essentially speaking, when you're at that critical point where you're pretty much low on life and you have no other resort left, no protection, you pretty much Z Awakened. And this is kind of like a lifeline to you, essentially speaking. And it's great that this deck has it now. So I definitely will be utilizing this as much as I can when I play competitively. Um, so yeah, it definitely adds quite a bit. I just want to see what this card does. When this card attacks... Draw two cards and send one card from your hand to your warp. Uh, once per turn, spirit boost. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Place two battle cards from your warp into your drop. Okay. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to its owner's warp. And additionally, if you have a Supreme Kai of Time opposing the Empire in play, this card gets plus 5,000 and double strike. So Supreme Kai of Time opposing the Empire, I assume, is my Unis. I think it's the Unison, yeah. So that will help quite a bit. So double strike, 20k. I mean, it's okay. Could be better, but hey, Vegas can't be choosers, so I'm still pretty happy. Okay, moving forward, we got Mira now, Creator Absorption. So this is another black card, I assume, for Mira. Yeah, this is for Mira Toa. Nice. So we've got some support cards for them. Nice. Salsa, Violent Margin Assault. We've got Dark King, Mechi Kabuta, Ruler of the Demon Realm. Okay. Wow, okay. Uh, your opponent has three more energy. Send this card from your drop to your warp. Okay, interesting. Sell ultimate life form of despair. Jeez. Just gets worse and worse with green A. Okay, so here are the multicolors now. Android 16 Companion for Desperation. Weiss Angel's Teaching. This is apparently a good card to have. Uh, multicolor this card in your energy. Negate the uh, card's exhaust in all areas. When this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 15,000 power or less and return to its owner's hand. If your leader is mono red and, your car and you discard one card from your hand during your opponent's turn, when your opponent's battle card or unison cards attack during the turn, choose up to one of your cards and that card gets 10,000 power. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess that's good. I'm not sure actually, to be honest. Like I said, I'm not professional at these, so I'm not sure what's considered really good or not good. There are people out there that definitely know their stuff better than me for sure <laughs> green okay we got cell cell longing for perfection beerish judge of ruin okay Ooh, interesting yellow and red uh this would be for i assume beerus from bt16 i don't know i can't remember if there was one or was it for weiss okay so these are pretty much the prizes that you win as part of just playing the game locally at your store or wherever essentially you can play and yeah, the gold stamp versions, you have to pretty much win the whole thing. Um, the other cards you pretty much get as part of just participating and playing. So yeah, I'm most likely going to get the uh, silver versions, not the gold stamp. But hey, 
It is what it is. But I'm pretty keen on those um, Wild Resurgence pre-release packs. That's going to be awesome. I really want to get that for the Trunks Z Awaken. Oh, getting a pre-release for that is going to be sick. So hoping for that. And then, oh my goodness me, here it is. This is the one thing that I woke up to and was like, what? Yeah, it's not really much of a uh, reaction for you guys. But essentially, I mean, when I saw it, I was like, damn. That's beautiful. So it is the Dark King Mechikabura Last Judgment. It is the second secret rare to be released. Um, play this card for every card in your opponent's Z deck. So essentially you're playing it for one. Because <laughs> usually people have seven in a Z deck. And if the total number of cards in you and your opponent's warps is seven or more, reduce the energy cost in this card. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Um, play one card under this card. Play one card from under this card into your drop. When this card or your opponent attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to its owner's warp. Okay, that's all right. And then dual attack. So, yeah, I mean, you can technically kill this card pretty quickly. But, I mean, it's still a very nice card. The artwork looks insane. I like the artwork indeed. Let's look what the... Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful indeed. That foiling, that texture is going to be insane. It makes me wonder if this is, might be the God Rare, to be honest. It makes me wonder. Hmm. Pretty excited to see what the third SCR is going to be. But like I said, I have that feeling it's going to be that Sun Gohan Kamehameha, possibly. I don't know, because I mean, the front cover of Wild Resurgence is that Gohan Kamehameha art. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm hoping it's the Super Saiyan 2 transformation instead. That would be a boss-looking God Rare card. And yeah, essentially, that's pretty much the end of the video. Well, there you have it, everyone. That pretty much wraps up another video for you all. Jeez, exciting. BT21 comes out in June. I think June the 17th or 16th. I can't remember exactly, but it's pretty much just under a month away. So excited for when that set comes out. Some sick pulls I'm sure we're going to definitely get. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to get a case. I'm going to get a couple of booster boxes, maybe a few more. I'm just really after the singles. But as always, guys, we're going to be pulling fire. And I'm hoping we can pull one secret rare. But hey, as always, don't hold expectation. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please give this a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel, as you can see there above. Lots more videos to come. Hopefully sometime this week, I'll be opening up some more packs for you guys. Some juicy stuff as always. But anyway, have a great day, evening, and night. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Peace.